Hey guys, DJ at Lighthaven Farm again. In this video, we're going to do an initial overview of the Kyle Booker Fishing Waste Pack Tackle Storage Bag, model number SL02, found online at kylebooker.com for $24.99. I did purchase this pack. It was not provided free, um, although I have agreed to partner with Kyle Booker and review some of their products and give my viewership an honest opinion and review of how they're constructed and how well they perform on the stream. So I hope that you look forward to future videos that will have more of their products and more of my opinions on their construction. Um, I'm going to give you an honest review of how well they're constructed. I will give you pluses and minuses as far as how they performed on the stream, um, some takeaways that I have, some things I may may find out that need to be improved upon. I guarantee you that my review of this product will be honest and straightforward and without influence. So let's get into it. We'll go feature by feature. I will read some of the descriptions uh, off their website as how it relates to the actual product in person and we'll go from there. So please forgive me for some of the shot angles, if they're too close or out of focus and whatnot. It's always difficult to do a review of a product and get you close enough to see the intricate details of its construction, but far enough away so that you get the overview of, of the actual product at hand. So let's get into it on a close-up level and go feature by feature, and then I'll pull back and give you an overall view of the construction of the unit as a whole. So starting with the shoulder strap, you have an adjustable buckle, which is made quite well and adjusts easily, a padded shoulder strap, a D-ring, this is made out of some kind of polycarbonate, uh, heavy duty plastic I would assume, and then a robust buckle. And when I say robust buckle, you know, many times on a lot of this fishing equipment, especially the stuff that is available for an inexpensive investment, they tend to skimp on buckles and zippers and pull tabs and that sort of thing. So um, hopefully the sound of this coming together and you being able to see the size of it versus my dirty hands, um, it's made well. Um, I would think that you're going to get a lot of use out of this without running into much problems. Okay, so you also have an adjustment down here at the lower level. So on this shoulder strap, there's two adjustments. Okay, takes us to the small compartment. The shoulder strap is brought through the stitching seam and into the compartment and double stitched. It appears that it's stitched inside as well as stitched through and outside. So maybe triple stitched, um, which will help with long-term durability, I would assume. You have a Velcroed compartment here that I would assume that you could clip a flashlight, a pen light with um, the metal portion coming across or maybe even a knife, a, a narrower knife, and then Velcro over top of it, which would keep it from coming off and losing it. Um, also too, actually, I don't know, it's kind of silly of me, the cut right here would allude to a pair of scissors and or forceps getting stuffed in there and then the velcro going between the uh, handles and holding it in place that's probably what it's designed for okay so that's the small pocket again another d-ring you have a fly patch velcro fly patch which is removable take that off First zipper compartment, nothing special, nothing hiding in there, uh, feature-wise, I mean, it, it, it. The bigger compartment, it's padded. Um, there is a foam padding inside here, and kind of gives you an idea against my hand. how big it is. The biggest compartment 
I really wanted to go over the well for you guys so that you can see all the storage areas in this main compartment now that I got it open. The main compartment has a back storage compartment that has a Velcro closure on it. And attached to that is a zippered compartment. Then you have the main area of storage and then another Velcroed area for storage. So there's quite a bit of pockets, Velcroed or zippered inside here to store a lot of gear. Um, and I guess it would, I guess it'd be, you'd be limited to how big the pack is. Uh, there's a reason why you purchase a small pack like this. Um, it's something that you want to maybe keep in your truck or car and be able to just get out and go, grab your rod, grab this small pack and get right on the stream. Uh, maybe after work or something like that, come in handy. So the back side of this has a, a thin layer of foam inside here. The mesh probably for breathability is what they're after with that construction. So when it's, if you're using this during maybe the summertime and it's hot out, this will give you a, somewhat of an airflow against your body. So that's the Kyle Booker Fishing Waste Pack Tackle Storage Bag, SL02, available at kylebooker.com at $24.99. And I'm going to then show you what it looks like packed full of most of the gear that I bring to the stream so that you can get an idea of what it's going to look like when it's all accessorized out. All right, I've packed the waste pack tackle storage bag full of most of the gear that I bring to the river when I'm steelhead fishing using soft beads. So let's unpack it and see how much of my gear fit into the pack. This will give you kind of a great idea of whether this might be the right small waste pack for you to use. Once again, this is the Kyle Booker SL02 available at kylebooker.com. So let's take out the content. All right, in the front storage, the headlamp, in the very, very front zippered compartment, I have lip balm, I didn't use a fly patch, but that could have been fully loaded with a bunch of stuff. Next compartment up, I don't have anything in. And it's because I packed this middle compartment full of a lot of stuff. So the main taker of space inside there was the wool gloves. If I put that somewhere else on me, um, I would have quite a bit more storage capacity inside the middle here. I have my float box with my store-bought and custom floats. I have my leader feeder with my soft beads pre-rigged, ready to go. I have my UV uh, light to charge up the glow-in-the-dark beads that I fish sometimes. And on the side compartment, forceps with Velcro retention, keep them safe. And I would bet that if you had a lanyard, you could probably attach this to this and really keep it safe from falling in the drink. I have my hooks, float caps, micro swivel, storage box and I think I think that about covers everything that I have in there attached to the uh, pack I have my nippers and I also forgot to point out on the earlier part here is that there is another another carabiner up top for you to attach maybe uh, if you have one of those water bottle holders, the rubber rings that go around the neck of the water bottle holder and then give you ability to attach it. You could attach that there. Let's see if there's anything else I missed. Oh yes. So on this side with this D-ring, I attach my split shot and then on this D-ring right there, I attached 
my tippet spools. So if you're using this for uh, keep it in the truck or keep it in your vehicle, grab and go bag just to get to the stream. If you happen to be able to sneak out of work earlier on a spur of the moment decision, you see that the stream is just too good to pass up and you got to get down there and fish. This would be awesome bag to keep in your truck or car and not take up any space at all and be able to give you the utilities you need to get down on the river and catch some fish. So let me uh, give you a, an organized view of everything that went into this pack and what I was able to store. So that's everything I was able to cram into this small waste pack for $25. Also, a thought had occurred to me, this would be a great pack to have an emergency kit in that you can have inside your vehicle, pull it out real easy and have bare essentials, Tylenol and, and that sort of thing. So something to consider to keep in your vehicle for other uses would be an emergency use pack. All right, thanks for tuning in to Lighthaven Farm. And if you would just take a moment of your time to hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell icon, which will keep you informed of all uploaded videos in the future, we do appreciate your support. And taking just a few moments to hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon puts us into the search categories higher on YouTube and helps our channel grow. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Look for the review three months from now where I touch base back with you about how this is held up, what I'd like to see improved upon possibly, what I found a distraction and or did not use. We'll see you down the road. See you stream side. Thanks guys.